On today's show, we have a food scientist from the FDA. A way to get free prom dresses. Stress less week is next week. And more, so don't go away. I'm Hassett. And I'm Arush. And on Tuesday, Woodson welcomed Sam Anthony Luciana to Woodson. His message was powerful and helped us understand ourselves with his own personal story. Yeah, I related to the balloon example. It was easy to see how we have so much in common too. If you wanted to see his mental fitness tips, there's a QR code now in CAF kiosk and a link to his website. You can always stop by student services and any of the Woodson counselors are always ready to help. Woodson's lucky to get such great guest speakers. There was another guest this week in the family and consumer science class, Dr. Karen Hatwell of the Food and Drug Administration. That's the FDA. She had a lot to tell the class and the WTV crew as well. Okay, so what was the FDA again? Starts with an F. Food and drug, drug administration. administration. But remember the food. But we are here to, uh, to keep you safe. It's a public health organization. My center is involved with protecting the food system except for meat from livestock, poultry, and some egg products. That's USDA, very confusing. And we are here to keep it safe, wholesome, and sanitary. So wholesome and sanitary um, means that uh, it should be food in there. So I don't know if you ever read The Jungle as part of your program. Yeah, you know about that time period when food was not food. So I personally worked in an office, but around the corner from me are labs. Uh, we have a building where the labs and the offices are, are all mixed in. So I, I don't know what your background is, but um, somewhere in uh, 20 years ago, we um, were able to, to, to look at a, a sequence an entire human genome. What we're sequencing are small species like salmonella or listeria or COVID. So you hear that they're variants of COVID. The way we know they're variants is by doing sequencing to see exactly how they change. So COVID has a bunch of variants and they're just small changes in the genome. Uh, if you have changed it completely, you're looking at a different species, so different things. So whole genome sequencing was something that was designed in our facility so that we could look at different variants of uh, salmonella, listeria, et cetera, so that we would know which ones would be the most harmful. And when you get sick and you go to the hospital and we take your fluids, we can test which one you got. For instance, um, you, you know arsenic is found naturally in, in the ground, so it mm -hmm. comes naturally in your food. So we want to see what that effect will be on uh, neurodevelopment. Uh, so we'll use zebrafish fish to predict how it would apply to, to people. So, so you can do esophagus cells, and you can do high stomach cells, and gut cells, and colon cells, all the way to the end. And you can have something that looks like um, what was that uh, that game we used to do uh, as a kid where you would pull out the heart and pull out the organ? Operation. Operation. So you can um, start with a chemical or a toxin at the top and let it go all the way down and see how it affects the cells at the bottom. It's really cool. Food is part of a system that we have. Food feeds us, we feed the rest of the world. It's all part of the system. And are we breaking down that system in the way that we um, create it? So something to think about. What propelled you to come out here? If you guys don't study um, science, there will be no scientists. If you don't decide to go to the government and work for food safety, there'll be nobody doing food safety. So it's up to your generation, uh, you individuals, to go do great things with your life, to keep this country moving in the, the way that you want it to be. So Thank you, Dr. Hotwell, for your visit to Woodson. Hey. My name is Mr. Milligan, and I would like to invite you to a space-themed guest speaker event here at Woodson this upcoming Monday during third period in the auditorium. We will be hosting Mr. Andy Hoskins, rocket scientist, and Mr. Tyler Haig, astronaut, to come talk to the school uh, about their jobs and their experiences and answer any questions you may have for them. Um, if you're interested in attending, please ask your science teacher for the Google form that you will need to fill out by Friday if you would like to come. So um, I hope to see you there. We're still celebrating the month of the military child. Tomorrow is Wear Red Day, and not too far down the road on May 5th is Hay Day. Right before Hay Day, we'll...
be a pep rally scheduled for next Friday on April 29th. The pep rally is featuring many outrageous games for students. There are still open slots for all students to fill out. Check your class group in Schoology to find the sign-up sheet. On Saturday, April 30th, Woodson's hosting a double feature. What do you mean? So we start the day at 8.30 with the annual Woodson 5K run slash walk, followed by Fan Quest that night. Tailgating is at 5.30 and the game starts at 7. We hope to see lots of participation. It seems early, but choosing a prom dress makes the night special. There is a way to get a dress now, and these are free. Prom is coming up on May 7th and I don't have a dress. What am I going to do? Jada, I have a dress for you. Where did you get the dress, Vera? It's so beautiful. I got it from Miss Tomer's room at A138. Those are some stunning options for dresses. Thank you, Ms. Tomer. Tickets from prom go on sale Monday, April 25th. The theme this year is Golden Gala and will be one of the best proms yet. Plan ahead to join Cav Cruise afterwards for the all night party you won't forget. WTV is featuring a few of our newest faculty members on the morning show. This is Mr. Glander. My name is Mike Lander and I teach government and AP psychology. If I can only eat one food for the rest of my life, that's easy. Pez. Cherry flavored Pez. There's no question about it. His favorite food is Pez? That's a new one. Yeah. Did you know that Pez was invented in Austria in 1927? I knew they'd been around for a while. The only flavor they had in the beginning was peppermint. They created a dispenser that looked kind of like a cigarette lighter. It was an attempt to stop Austrians from smoking. When Pez came to New York in the 50s, that's when they started to go for fruity flavors and the head top on the dispenser. The first character they had was a Halloween witch. Hey Cavs, have you ever tasted a Pez? We heard one of the WTV crew had not, so we're hoping to find out if you have. Take our Instagram poll right now. Find the WTV broadcasting on Instagram and don't forget to follow us. We are going to dispense with a joke for the show. Ah, uh, but not the puns, right? Right, so let's head over to Cinema Arts Theater this spring on May 17th. <laughs> <laughs> the Woodson Film Club's first feature film will debut on the big screen. The movie called Where's Frank? and it will be showing on May 17th. It's free to anyone who wishes to attend. Where's Frank? shows at 7 p.m. Bring a friend. It should be a wonderful time at the movies. And for live theater, there's Spongebob Squarepants the Musical, starting on May 5th and running until May 15th on the weekends. You won't want to miss this one. Get your tickets by scanning the QR found on the posters or the CAF kiosk. Our final reminder is for all club leaders to check their school email today. There's a special invitation for you for ca in CAV Hall. Also, military connected students need to check their email today. There's a special breakout challenge link in the email to you. It has several clues and puzzles to solve. When you enter, you'll be added for a gift drawing. Try it out. Hope the week continues like this for everybody on Thursday. Have, Have a, a pass, pass the Pez perfect, perfect day Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs>